Yes? And next to him is that faithful dog. Right? And when we look deeper, we are looking at someone reading a newspaper. And when we look at the person reading the newspaper, it does not, it does not matter what the person looks like. What is important is that the newspaper is being read. The most important part of that tableau is the newspaper. Yes, and then we look at the kettle. Yes, and the charwala. In terms of what he creates, it is the strokes of Krishna Khanna that actually become the moon. In his strokes, the color, the manner in which he used color, the manner in which he used color, we saw Emos downstairs. Emos is another story, but look at the treatment of colors, look at the treatment of the composition. Yes, and you look at the treatment of this. This is Nizamadi, where Krishna Khanna used to live. It became a very important part of many paintings that he did. If you go to the ICCR website, I have done um, an online exhibition with catalogs for visiting India, Indian artists. Right? Krishna Khanna is one of them. You'll find a whole series of his works and you please, please read my notes. Okay? What I love about this work is that it has a monochromatic tinge to it, but it's not monochromatic. Right? The moment we see it, the first reaction is that it's like a monochromatic work. But actually it has many shades of brown. But what a master, the manner in which he uses the brown. And brown, not an easy color to use. Especially when you're dealing with a human figure. Not an easy color to use. Yes, Krishna Khanna is most famous for his bandwalas. Most famous for